All right, now we're doing 8Q Grasshopper Check for Factor. This one's by Dan Leavitt, and 90% of the people like it. And this function should test if the factor is a factor of base. Return true if it is a factor or false if it is not. About factors, factors are numbers you can multiply together to get another number. Two and three are factors of six because two times three is six. You can find a factor by dividing numbers. If the remainder is zero, then the number is a factor. You can use the mod operator in most languages to check for a remainder. For example, two is not a factor of seven because seven modulus two equals one. Note, base is a non-negative number. Factor is a positive number. All right. A lot of words, but uh, what we're going to be using is the uh, remainder operator, which they call modulus. Some call it, that guy called it mod, uh, whatnot. The remainder operator returns the remainder left over when one operand is divided by a second operand. It always takes the sign of the dividend, of course. All right, so like right here, it's going to be three because... 10 divided by 5 is 2, so 13 divided by 5 would be 2 remainder 3. Same here except for negative and 0, and I don't know what negative 0 is, but whatever. Uh, anyway, so here we go. We're just going to say return base modulus factor, and since we're looking for numbers that are straight up factors, we're going to say equals zero because we want the remainder to be zero, not one, not two, not anything, just zero. All right. Test it out. Looks great. Looks good. And just to remind you, see, four remainder, four modulus two has a remainder of zero, just in case you didn't get it. All right. And that's good. Submit it. And let's see what we got. My solutions, 562, best practices on that, very like, and we'll see you next time.